Hi, it's Simon Stockhausen here again with another tutorial for PVG Phonem. And today we want to create tempo synced sequences. For that, we have to have an equal amount of uh, phonemes or syllables. Um, so let's enter something like. Eight. Let's do a, a two beat with sixteenth notes using the syllable maybe da. So eight times da. Enter. Let's listen to it. No, 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 no. Let's tune it up to C. Five, meaning the center C will sound like a center C. <laughs> now let's go to frame mode. Sorry. Set this to frame. Now we go to the matrix. And let's use LFO1 with a saw shape on in a unipolar mode, so it's only modulating in one direction. Set gain to full, 100%. Now we as assign LFO1 to phonem position, which is here. No. Ah, come on. That's the wave control. Here it is. Position control phonem. LF01. And now let's set this to two bar two beats. The LFO so it's synced to the host. <laughs> And of course, only 50%. Otherwise, the second half will be empty. So set this to 50%. Also use the track and give each phonem a different pitch. Let's first enable pitch track. And now let's yeah, maybe a uh, C minor seven or something. No, 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 no. So now we can use simply use the ah first we have to pitch the whole thing up. Sorry. Because this is absolute C3, we want it two octaves higher. So move all the track points to C5 so it matches the root node. And now we can move the individual semitones with the scroll wheel. So in a former tutorial I claimed that this is not possible but it's of course possible. Just use the scroll wheel of your mouse to scale these points to semitones. So we start. Second note will be D sharp. Oops. We first have to click on the point and then move it up. No, wait. Uh -huh. There we go. Come on. It's a bit clumsy, I must say. 
Yeah, this will be a lot of work, so let's get some quick results first. Ah, come on. Sorry. Yeah, it's a bit clumsy, I must say. So, in order to spare you this pain, let's move on. Just do some here in the back. Hmm. Yeah, it's not really that easy with the scroll wheel. Now we have a tempo synced LFO. We cannot, of course, add more uh, add, um, synced LFOs. Let's now use LFO2, also synced, and apply that one to pan position properly. Yeah. One bar, LFO2, stereo. Let's do it for also in two bars, uh, in two beats, sorry. Now it's a rectangle. some formant modulation. It's, yeah, we can use LFO3. Have another cycle, let's say, of three beats. Some tempo swing delay, maybe a dotted eighth. Bye.